in 1380 and died in 1444 he was a priest when he was young he lost his parents and he was brought up by his pious auntie he grew in wisdom and knowledge <clears throat> from the childhood onwards he wanted to help poor once there was only one bread was at home there was a beggar seeking for food then servant of his house wanted to send him away because of the situation of having only one bread that time our saint he said instead of fasting of a beggar let me fast today and let me give my share to beggar praise the lord praise the lord praise, praise the, lord. the lord praise the lord from the childhood onwards he was had a heart of giving something charitable work and he grew in the piousness and he was observing all the commandments of jesus and right from the <clears throat> beginning he was very pious and regular to his pious activities later on he became a priest he used to say very often that on the day of birthday of mother mary he was born on the birthday of mother mary he received religious habits on the birthday of my mary he received first profession and on the day of mother mary birthday of mother mary he celebrated his mass first mass like that even in the future in the old age on the day of birthday of mother mary he would like to die he used to tell several times like this and he was very good preacher through preaching he attracted many people and many parishioners many dioceses invited him to preach till his old age he was very regular in preaching and he visited various places and he inspired them through his preachings praise the lord Praise the, Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Same manner, in today's gospel, Jesus tells us, "If you follow my commandments, I know you. If I know you, Heavenly Father also will come to know you." Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When Heavenly Father comes to know, we will be guided by Holy Spirit. Yes, my dear friends, in Jesus Christ, love of God and love of neighbor. those moses gave us 10 commandments at mount of sinai here jesus summarized those 10 commandments into two love of god and love of neighbor and he practiced in his life and later on his disciples early christians they too practiced and they witnessed in the church the same manner as the catholics as the followers of jesus let us keenly observe his commandments let us dedicate our life to love god to love our neighbors so that we will be guided by holy spirit now let to participate in a worthy manner let us recall all our shortcomings and failures and ask god's pardon I confess to 
Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest Saint Bernardine of Siena a great love for the holy name of Jesus, grant through his merits and prayers that we may ever be sent aflame with the spirit of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We bring you good news that you should turn from these vain things to live to a living God. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verses 5 to 8, 18. When an attempt was made by God, both Gentiles and Jews, with their rulers, to molest Paul and Barnabas and to stone them. They learned of him and flee to Lystra and Deber, cities of Lyconia, and to the surrounding country, and there they preached the gospel. Now at Lystra there was a man sitting who could not use his feet. He was crippled from birth, who had never walked he listened to Paul speaking and said, and Paul said, looking intently at him and seeing that he is faith to be made well, said in a loud voice, stand up on your feet. And he sprang up and walked. And when the crowd saw that Paul had done, they left, they left up their voices saying, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of men. Barnabas they called Jesu, and Paul, because he was a chief speaker, they called him Hermes. And the priest of Jesu, whose temple was in front of the city, brought oxen and garlands to the goats and wanted to offer sacrifice with the people. But when the apostle Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they tore their garments and rushed out among the multitudes, crying, Men, why are you doing this? We are also men of, the like, na of like nature with you, and bring, your bring you good news. And you should turn from these vain things to a living God who made heaven and the earth, and see in all that is in them. In past generation, he allowed all the nations to walk in their own way. Yet he did not leave himself without witness. For he did good things and gave you thanks from heaven, rains and fruitful season, satisfying your hearts with food and gladness. With these words, they sincerely restrained the people from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. Hallelujah. Not to us, Lord, but to your name give glory. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your, but to your name give the glory. For the sake of your love and your truth, lest the heathen say, where is their God? Your response not to us, Lord, but to your name give the glory. 
but to our god he is in heaven he does whatever he wills their idols are silver and gold the work of human hands your response to us lord but to your name give the glory may you be blessed by the lord the maker of heaven and the earth the heaven belongs to the lord but the earth he has given to men your response not to us lord but to your name give glory seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you allelu allelu It is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord gospel of john chapter 14 verses 21 to 25 jesus said to his disciples he who has my commandments and keeps them he he it is who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my father and will be love him and manifest myself in him judas not iscar iscariot said to him lord how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world jesus answered him if a man loves me he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him he who does not love me does not keep my words and the words which you hear is not mine but the father's who sent me these things i have spoken to you while i am still with you but the counselor the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that i have said to you the gospel of the lord praise be to you lord jesus christ Abba, Father, let us be yours and yours alone. Set our hearts, our spirits free. Make us all thy own. To your goodness, Lord, we bring. bread of our labor and wine to cheer the heart which will soon be filled for us with the life of your son abba father let us be yours and yours alone Set our hearts of spirits free. Make us, Lord, your own. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and good of all His holy church. May your prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness 
we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, oh, all the, to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our great Passover has been sacrificed. And with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, to mobile our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into your light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At Savior's comment, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who call to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed soul of my savior sanctify my breast body of christ be thou my saving guest blood of my savior bathe me in thy tide wash me ye waters gushing from thy side strength and protection may his passion be o oh, blessed jesus hear and answer me deep in thy wounds lord hide and shelter me so shall i never never part from thee <coughs> let us pray <coughs> almighty ever living god who restore us to eternal life the resurrection of christ increase in us we pray the fruits of this paschal sacraments and pour out our hearts the strength of this saving food through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit almighty god bless you father son and holy spirit amen mass is ended go on serve the lord thanks be to god